Hey, what is up everybody? Jeremy from iDevice Movies, and this is going to be my in-depth overview of the Tweak Slider Pro. Now, I cannot show you every variation you can have with this tweak because it would simply take too long, so I'll just give you a nice in-depth overview, as I said. So let's just jump into this. Uh, first is the big time options. You can change the date and the time format to almost any variation you can think of. He literally has everything here. So let's just do a uh, day, month, year like that. Let's take a look at that. So there you go. As you see, it changes the big time to the day, month, year with slash marks. So you have to toy around with that to figure out exactly which one you like the best. You also do have the option of custom text, and I'll show you later in the video where you input that at. Let's go ahead and disable that. You do have the option of changing the color. So this is a very cool addition to this tweak. And there is the big time as pink. You do have the option of invisible and random too, so let's disable that. And next is the small date. Uh, same concept as the big time. You can just change the uh, date and time format to whatever you'd like. Option of custom text as well, so you can literally have, you know, you can write out whatever you want there if you don't want a date or a time. You can change the color of the small date. Same colors as the big time. Next is the slider text, date and time formats for that as well, along with a custom text. Next is the slider image, so you can change your slider knob to any of these knobs. Um, I'll do cable. Now there's a trick with this part. Everything else takes, uh, you know, you just switch it and you can view it immediately on your lock screen, no respring required. When you change the, the slider knobs, you have to lock your device. Oh, looks like I just got a comment. As you can see, the slider has not changed yet. Go ahead and unlock it and then lock it again. And the changes take effect. So you just got to lock it and unlock it twice to change the slider knob. And as you can see, there's a ton of different knobs to choose from. Now, next is where you put in your custom text. You can type out whatever you want for the custom text. Uh, I have mine just as big time and it's iDevice Movies. So let's take a look at that. Just select custom text after you've inputted your text. And there you go. Next is on off toggles for the slider seconds fixer and no lock screen auto lock. So if you turn this on, the lock screen will not dim until you manually dim it with the power button just by clicking it like so. So that's very cool. I'll just leave that on. Uh, here's one of my favorite parts about this tweak. You have battery options. You can have battery animations, zoom out and back, fade in and out, slow spin, medium spin, fast spin, and super fast spin. I'll just leave it on fade in and out. You can change the battery's position, so default, you know, normally in the middle. And then you have two other options. You can uh, move that uh, battery around. You can have the option of don't show the battery. So even if you're charging it, it will not show the battery. Um, no black screen, so normally when you're charging your device, the uh, battery has a black wallpaper. You can disable that so it just overlays the battery on your current wallpaper. Another one of my favorites, always show the battery, even if it's not charging, and you can hide the battery reflection. So let's take a look at this little setup. So there you go, it's changed, changed position, has an animation, uh, no reflection, and yeah, I think that's really cool. That's an awesome, you know, part of this tweak. Next is swipe gestures. The gestures are swipe up, swipe down, and swipe left. And the actions for those gestures are play, pause, music, track up, track down, activate the camera, home button tap times two, Wi-Fi on and off, volume up and volume down. Uh, the one thing I like having set up all the time is the home button tap times two for swipe down, and I'll show you what that does. So if I just swipe down, it brings down my uh, music controls just like that. And then that's, that's very handy rather than double-clicking the uh, home button. 
and next are a bunch of on off toggles for different things. Hide the slideshow button for the iPad. Use the black bulletin for when you have notifications on your lock screen. You have a fade out animation. You can hide the top bar just like so. Hide the lock status bar uh, a uh, little padlock, you know, that's up in the middle of the status bar. You can hide that. You can show the status bar time. No light animate till tap. Now, normally your slider text always has that light animation. This disables it until you touch the slider knob, so I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, there's no light animation, and if I touch the knob, there it goes. And the next one has to do with the light animation as well. Keep light animated. So let's turn this off and let's turn this on. Whoops. Now normally when you grab your slider, the uh, light animation will stop. As you can see, it still goes even when it's dimmed like that. So that's pretty cool. You can hide the slider background just like that. Tap the actual slider knob itself to unlock the device. You can have it bypass the password. Camera in the slider. That's pretty much for anything that's 5.0.1 and later. You can change the slider text size just like this and uh, turning it on. Tap to unlock option on off there. And at the uh, very end here you have big time tap launch. So for the big time at the top you can just tap it and it will either open up your own uh, website, whatever you want to put in there, compose a new email, compose a new text message, and uh, you can call somebody just by doing that too. And then again at the very bottom is donate. You can iMessage Green Snow. Make sure you follow him on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about this tutorial in the comments. This is Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys later.